Kadush. You know what? Is that how it goes? We've been told that's something the cool kids do. I hope it wasn't a stitch up, Carlos. <laughs> it could be a stitch up, <laughs> an awesome power stitch up. Anyway, our favourite dragon warrior is in the country here to celebrate the release of his fourth Kung Fu Panda yeah. flick. We Ooh. are, of course, talking about the man, the myth, the legend, Jack Black, who sat down oh. with our very own legend, David Campbell. <laughs> Whoa! Being the dragon warrior, it's who I am. Speak me. What do I know about being a spiritual leader? Jack, welcome back. Yes. You are surprisingly nimble, sir. Thank you. And, and you know, you can kick very hard. I do have some kicks. Thank you for noticing, yeah. Do you warm up? Is there some stretching before? There is there? some stretching. I don't want to pull a hammy. I can tell you want a little taste, and I'll give it to you. Give it a little. Waha! Hold it. Chop clicks. kicks. I call this chop kicks. Beware. You never know when the chop kicks will strike. I just was not ready. I was not prepared. I know. You just said, my guard was down. I was open. I felt like you were asking for it, though. I just was looking on the on the trades in America, and you're tracking at number one again, second week running, beating those little sandworms. Oh, yeah. The panda's back, baby. The spice. Dune 2, man. I've heard it's incredible. There, people are saying that we might be the new uh, Barbenheimer. Pandoon. Pandoon. That's what everyone is saying. Everyone is saying that. <laughs> I'm trying to get that going. <laughs> We're not so different, you and I. Stand back. I'm going to kick my butt. So tell me about making this movie again. We've got Aquafina in this one. You two have a fantastic dynamic. Are you recording it together or separately? All isolation. But they like to get each actor one at a time to drill down to exactly the way they want to hear the, the lines. But uh, I did get one session with Aquafina, who plays the fox, uh, and she's incredible. When you finally see it in real time, do you be like, oh yeah, I remember that bit? Or do you forget when you leave the studio? I had lots of moments in the studio where I was like, I think this is gonna be huge. This is really working. But you don't really know for sure until you see it. And uh, when I saw it, I was like, hell yeah. It all fell into place, even better than I imagined. The choice of the Britney Spears song is quite ingenious. Is that your favorite Britney bop? She's got a she's got a bunch of hits, uh, but that one fit perfectly with the theme of kung fu. Mm -hmm. Hit me, baby, one more. They wanted us to do a tenacious D cover for the end credits of the movie, and we're like, holy cow, what could we do? What would be right? My manager said you should do Britney Spears, and something went off in my head, some fireworks, because the idea of that combo is very unexpected. Yeah, that hard rocking with the Britney Spears popping, and I knew that it would be kind of fresh and exciting. One, two, three. Well, you're not hardcore. Well, you're not hardcore. Well, you're not hardcore. Well, you're not hardcore. I want to talk about your incredible career. You've had, you know, so many hits and, and generationally, so many people love you. My kids love School of Rock. You know, they love Kung Fu Panda. I'm a high fidelity kind of guy too. Oh, I, I go do. way back with you, dude. Now so I kind of feel like in, a, in the spirit of high fidelity, top five, movies for you when you think about your career? What do you think? Gotta go uh, School of Rock. Bang. That's the one to put me on the map. Uh, High Fidelity also right Bingo. there. Incredible experiences. Nacho Libre. Yes. Um, probably the funniest. And then you gotta go Kung Fu Panda. I'm gonna put all four of those Kung Fu Pandas in one basket. Yeah. And that leaves me with one more. I'm gonna go Bowser go in Bowser. Super Mario Bros. It's a pretty nice bag of five. It's great. It's a jingly jangly bag. It just sort of rattles on your pocket as you're it walking does. along it feels the street. Nice. I like it in there. Just last night, I was lost in the jungle with Pitbull Harry. My son's now on the Instagrams, but one of the things he fed up to me was the Pitfall Harry ad from like, what, 1982? Oh, yeah. He's like, Dad, is this, is this Jack Black from <laughs> Show me, you're a baby. Where yeah. did you start? That's my first gig. And I got to like show a little bit of my personality at a very young age, 13. Yeah. And I was very popular for about four days. And I was like, no, oh, I've got to get into the taste of the fame. And I've been chasing the dragon ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you back in Australia. Thanks Great so to much. Good to be back, bro. I cannot wow. hold, I cannot hold it. You can't wow. even see my leg. Wow. I loved it. <laughs> what do you call them? Chop kicks. You're very good yeah. at that.
I can go pretty high. Jeez, I wouldn't want to cross you, sis. No, anyway, you Kung Fu Panda 4 <laughs> is in cinemas March 28. Thank you, David. Right to do that one. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?